All right, so we're back to some Forger, or welcome to Forger, if you didn't see my, like, Let's Try of it that I put out, uh, I mean, I guess, as of today, I streamed it last night, and I was like, holy crap, this game is amazing, oh no, how do I, what are the berry bushes, no, I guess I'm gonna have to kill the berry bushes now, ah, well this is unfortunate, I was really hoping I could just harvest the berries like last time, but I guess, uh, I guess you have to break the bushes? It looks like stamina is also a little bit more, um... A little bit more of an issue. Okay. But yeah, so this is, uh... I guess if you if you did miss the, uh... The first session of it yesterday. Uh... This game is pretty much just like... It, the developer claims it's like a cross between Stardew Valley and, like, Legend of Zelda. I'm not sure if I entirely, uh, agree with that, but maybe that's also because I haven't played enough of the game to, like, really get a sense of it. But it is really just adorable and relaxing. Uh, there's a demo of it out on Itch.io now that you can download for free, or if you sub to the guy's Patreon, you can get access to this version. I think every version thereafter, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I might just play this version and then come back to it when it hits Steam. Uh, cause that's kind of the way I generally do things. I'm not very good with Eternal games. So it does look like the, uh... It does look like the berry bushes regrow fairly, fairly frequently, which is good. Okay, so he wants me to build a furnace. No. We are not going to build this furnace. We are going to, uh... We are going to harvest every resource on this island. Then we'll think about that stuff. Okay, so we leveled up, and it looks like it doesn't immediately force you to go off and tend to that, which is nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna be hacking away at every resource around here. I wonder where we get the traits. Maybe we, maybe we have them already. And I just have to go uh, check the leveling tree. Okay, let's bash these down real quick. Yeah, okay, so it does say I have one skill point, so we're good. Uh, let's see, escape, items, gear, skills, and feats. Interesting, what are feats? Okay, so achievements. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like Dungeons and Dragons feats or otherwise. So economy, instantly gain 40 coins. Industry, unlock steel, glass, gain EXP when uh, building structures. Yes. Okay, so they've... I liked the previous uh, talent tree better, just because I I don't know, I like the, the diamondy shapes. It looked really nice. This probably makes a lot more sense from like a tree perspective, but the diamondy shape is just cool. Okay. Yeah, eventually, eventually I should probably beeline for better tools so this takes less time. But I am easily distracted. All right. Uh, let's see. So we're good. How do we? How do we build? Build. Industrial. Furnace. Alternatively, magical economic farming bridge. I'm out of wood? I'm out of wood. Alright, let's fix that situation. Now, you might say that this is extremely excessive and I shouldn't be doing this. You would be, in fact, very much correct. But oh well. <laughs> this game looks addictive. It is! Like, I, I played it for 15 minutes yesterday and afterwards I had to go off and play with my friends and I was like, I just want to go back and play Forager. It's a, it's, it's rare that a game this early in development is this, um, it just immediately, um, like, captures me that immediately. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but there's just this, like, just super relaxing feeling. I really dig it. Alright, so let's take a look at, no, skills. 64 skills, by the way. Wow. Sewing. Leather. Sewing stations are faster. Structures cost less wood. Gain 40 coins. Allow you to find fairies. Or cotton spawns more often. Allows you to find wheat and beets. 
Now let's let's go with uh, economy to start with. But yeah, it's a very compelling uh, system, and I dig that. Okay, so how do we buy land? This is how we buy land. So buy for sixty, buy for thirty. I guess we're buying that one. Hello. Sweet child, let my fairies rest your weary body. I need to ask you for a very small donation of your soul. I will reward you with the power of my fairies. May light shine on your quest. So she wants money. Thousand. Thousand money. Well, we'll work on that. But now we have a second island to pull, uh, pull items from. Which we will do gladly. Okay. I should probably go get those, uh, furnaces down. I was just, uh... What I want to do is kind of fill in a lot of these gaps so I can have, like, a, a base that doesn't look super hodgepodge. I, I figured I'd kind of bide my time for a little while. And, uh... And make something nice and organized first instead. Wait, is that a slime? It was a slime enemy. Huh. So yeah, let's just chop down every, every tree and then I'll look into other things. Can I... Oh, oh! Oh, fairies are just worth 10 EXP. Okay, then our next skill point is going into magic. Come here, come here. There we go. Alright. So... We need to, uh... We need to uh, get fairy finding. Probably. I mean, I'll have to look at other skills. If we could... The one that gives you just money over time might be... Might be a uh, compelling alternative. Okay, so we want to do skills. So economy. Storage. Unlocks vaults. Coinage. Forges create four extra coins every time. That's a good idea, but let's go magic for starters. Oh, fairies fill stamina too. Good. Gain 15% more EXP and inscription tables. Things that I want. It... That's one thing I I really am liking about this already. The talents actually feel like there's something worth getting. Usually in games like these, you're like, uh, you know, okay, fine, talents. 1% extra damage. Thank, thank. Real, real help. Okay, so it's under farming. Bridges. Oh. Okay, need more trees. I'm just gonna fill in the gaps and we'll figure out how to put some forge forges in here. Because I don't want to, like, override where the resources are gonna spawn, but... I'm probably going to have to. Or I'm just gonna run around gathering resources until I'm level 30 and then realize, yeah, I have infinite amounts of everything except for wood because I made a giant freaking island empire and that was a stupid thing to do. We should get some forges down. Uh, I mainly wanted to expand northwards, but I guess I'll expand over this way. Alright, so we want to build... Nope, we want to build farming bridge. There we go. Okay, it's filled in. Let's build some forges. Industrial... Er, forges. Furnaces. We'll start with one. Okay, so now we've got one of those. It's actually gonna spit out... It's actually gonna spit out coal for us. And, uh, we're spawning gold and coal rocks, too. I like that. Kind of the progression of resources. That it's not just like, here's everything at once. It's, it's, you kind of get it as you need it and can use it. So I should probably stop making so much coal then, if I can start mining it. 
Well, after this one, at the very least. Hey, does stuff spawn on top of bridges? I don't think so. But I'm probably just going to surround m m many of these islands just in bridges. Okay. Let's see. Farming bridge. Really? Ugh. I guess each tridge is equal- uh, tridge. Each tree is equal to one bridge, so kind of go figure. Alright, uh, let's start making some bricks. Because, yeah, we want to get an actual forge, not a furnace. I'm going to get those mixed up a lot. Fair warning. Pretty sure the only thing you're not going to lack is building space. This is true, but right now, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying not to... I'm trying not to squander as much as possible. I don't know. It always bugs me having really haphazard bases. Whenever I play these games. Okay. You should eat. Yes, you should. I wonder if you passively uh, lose stamina over time. Probably not. I don't know. I don't really know. Okay. Hmm. Do we build industrial another furnace? I'm going to spread them out a little bit and keep them along, along that division. Eventually I'll want uh, them in other places, but I figure we can... We should be able to see exactly where everything is with this setup. Okay, so let's make iron ingots. That is far fewer. But that's okay. I wonder if we get more fairies at nighttime. Oh, right. I got a skill point. Let's spend that. Let's see, do we do forging, brilliance, wheat, and beets? Structures cost let carpentry might not be a bad idea. Let's go carpentry, seeing as wood currently is one of our major limitations. Is it me or is like the audio kind of layering over itself at times? I think it is. Oops. Oh. So you can make these. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's let's craft coal. We're gonna need more of it. Hello, random bug. Nope. Doesn't look like it can actually do anything with the glow flies. They just exist. Okay. Not exactly the greatest, but I'll I'll take it. Here. I think I might have to quit out of the game very quickly, because yeah, it it sounds like the, the music is layering on top of itself. Weirdly. And it shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so it was just the game. I was afraid for a second that I had, like, a second audio source that was coming in, and it's just like, nope. But, uh, yeah, so this is Beta 5, I will warn everybody. Uh, being Beta 5, that does mean that, uh, there's going to be some bugs, I've already ran into a couple of them. Nothing terribly, uh, game-breaking, but they exist. It does sound like the uh, music seems to have fixed itself this time around, though, which is good. I think I just had to quit out of the game. Because, yeah, we had, like, the creepy night music and the, like, super upbeat regular music. Probably from the menu. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually uh, didn't pull in, like, the main menu music or something like that. We'll see. And if it becomes a serious problem, then we can just, uh... If it becomes a serious problem, then we can just switch over to... 
doing nothing but, uh, or switch over to my own music. Okay, so let's pick a forge. I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, coin key, slimy pickaxe. Need a lot of iron, wooden jelly for that. Bottle. Okay, coins. But I don't want I don't want to make coins until we uh, hit our next level, which is going to be as soon as we finish this tree. There we go. Alright. So we want to go skills. Okay, so forges create four extra. Alright, so what else do we have? Banking. Unlocks banks. Trade. Unlocks markets. And yeah, it really does sound like the music layers over itself. Like it doesn't, uh, it doesn't properly end the previous song. That's unfortunate. It's gonna drive me nuts. All right, we're gonna. I'm just gonna have to listen to my own music tonight. Uh, hopefully, this gets fixed quick because I enjoy the soundtrack. But uh, if it's gonna do that, then uh, no, no run. So we'll just listen to, uh, a bunch of other video game soundtracks. So this is specifically, uh, Fast Force. Might be a little loud. Let's fix that. There we go. Because, yeah, I like, I like the soundtrack for Forager, but if the audio is just going to layer over itself weirdly, then, uh, then I'd, I'd rather just hold off on it. I mean, this is going to be one of those games that I, uh, did all tabbing actually mess with the frame rate? I think it did. It's ch it feels choppier. Maybe it's just me. It feels like mildly choppier, but it doesn't help that the uh, screen shake is is going on at all times too. Let's see, do I have the Witcher soundtrack? I don't know if I do actually. This is going to be a disjointed little beta playthrough. I can guarantee that. Uh, let's see. So we don't actually have any more gold ore. Well, let's make as many coins as I possibly can. That's not a whole lot, to be totally honest, but that's okay. Yeah, do I have the Witcher soundtrack? I don't, but that also has, like, a fair amount of, like, more big sweeping orchestral music. And as much as I like, uh, like, epic... Oh, that's worth a lot more coins. Okay, that's... that's encouraging. As much as I enjoyed the Witcher soundtrack and, like, a number of the other ones, like, people keep suggesting Doom to me whenever I'm like, Hey, I want to listen to a soundtrack. And they're like, Doom, and I'm like, Nyeh. I like me some Doom, but, uh, the soundtrack is not easy listening. It's very hard to commentate over it. Like, try having a lengthy conversation at a metal, metal concert. It's, uh, I mean, I'm assuming a lot of people can do it. But I can't. Okay, so we need a stupid amount of iron. There's a stupid amount of iron. Alright, uh, let's see. I might as well try making a slime pickaxe. I have no idea if a slimy pickaxe is better than what I've got, but that's fine. It would be eight coins each with the... Without the, uh, coinage skill. Yep. Which is better. I think, uh, yesterday was... You'd only get one coin. And then you could get, like, two or three more. Okay. So... I guess I should probably check if I can buy a new, new island. Yep. Got a treasure chest. Okay, so we're gonna need some trees. Fill it for no coins. Yeah, hopefully once I've expanded the uh, world substantially, we won't run into this coal shortage that we're looking at. Hopefully I also have enough tools that I can just take down most of the, like, basic trees and whatnot in one swing. A little excessive, but it would certainly uh, help things along. Now, nope. I still don't have a skill point. But that's fine. Don't need one in this case. Okay, so that'll make me, I think, a little bit more money. 
I don't remember if it's one gold bar or two. Hopefully it's only one gold bar to make the coins. Yep, okay. We're good. And there's more, more gold. More gold! There's gold in them there everywheres. Okay, so let's let's check out this uh chest. Farming bridge. Oh shoot. I should probably go make that key now that I'm thinking about it. Because yeah, if we've got a chest here, we don't want to uh We shouldn't be uh squandering all on all of our gold on actually just getting gold. There's a pig! I'm gonna name you. What do we name him? What should we name our pig? I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna eat him. Pro probably. We'll see if I get desperate. Okay, can I make the slimy pickaxe? Yes. Can I make the key? No. Slimy pickaxe it is. Gold ingots. Can I make? Yes. That's see, isn't that a cow? No, that's a pig. That's most definitely a pig. We could call him, we could call him, um, beef. Beef jerky? I wonder if you can, like, corral the pig and, like, actually keep, uh, livestock. So you're gonna need the iron for the key as well. Yeah, but I can make a bunch of that. I wanted to get the better pickaxe so we could actually, you know, gather things in relatively short order. Because we couldn't really do that earlier. Beefy Bob. I don't know, I think I think just calling him Beef... Uh, I think just calling him Beef is probably the best. It's short, it's quick, it's beefy. Oh god, the, uh, the chest island is getting, is getting mobbed. Oh, there's something growing there, but... Yeah, alright. Slimy pickaxe. Damage is increased by 75%. Gain 50% more jelly when killing slimes. Hello! I have no idea if I actually mine faster with this thing. I think I do. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it feels like it. Now, so they've gotten rid of the, the hammer situation that was in the demo as well. That seems reasonable. Beef left us a present. It's poop! Okay. Okay, Beef. It's okay. I will not harvest you for lumber. Because that's what pigs are used for, yes? E on the bright bug. No, can only use them on, uh, can only use E on fairies. As far as I can tell, the bright bugs are just to provide light at night. Okay, craft that key. And yeah, we're probably gonna wanna... We're probably gonna wanna ex and my operations. I wonder if there's like a way to actually make a, a no growth zone so you can actually focus on having a base in an area without it getting overgrown. I don't really know. Oh, did the key just fly into me? Nope. I saw like a weird key animation and I was confused. Okay, well, let's make as many gold ingots as we can possibly grab as much coal as we can possibly make. Alright, so we get a lantern. Provides better visibility in the dark. Is that just gonna follow me around? I guess so, it's creepy. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm not alone in thinking this, that, that that lantern is, like, vaguely sinister, right? And suddenly this game is making me really want to go back and play Dragon Quest Builders. I, they've got kind of that same feel to them. The... 
the feeling of like kind of just sad sandbox exploration building? I don't really know. Oh, you can just swipe your mouse over things to pick them up. That's actually really helpful. I didn't. I I figured I'd I had to get over there to actually pick them up, but I guess I was wrong. There's so many resources. Legitimate problem. I should probably go spend that uh, skill point. Now that I think about it. Yeah, okay. We have more gold. We always have more gold. We have so many things! Unfortunately, uh, I'm constantly going to be just like running for the next resource and sort of actually like bothering uh, to progress here because the spawn rates are nuts. I actually. I know, it, I know it's probably impossible, especially because this is a one man game. But, uh, I love multiplayer in this sort of thing. I don't know. Any, any sandbox game is almost immediately enhanced by having friends to play it with. Okay, so let's make a whole hell of a lot of coins. Keep grabbing that gold. Probably kill the slime first, just so it doesn't land on me. I don't entirely know how to heal, and I don't really want to... I don't really want to risk it. Oh, we got a we got a chicken. I'm gonna call him Pig. Yeah, Beef is having some problem. He's like stuck over here. I don't think I'm gonna like rectify that situation though. Okay. Well, we've got loads of resources. Let's let's spend the skill point uh, before I like waste all my time here. So what's this one? Wood cutting. Trees drop, 50% more wood. It's not a terrible idea. REXP smelting. Honestly, we should probably just get foraging to start with. Okay, gain four inventory slots. That might actually be kind of helpful as my inventory is starting to fill out. Why is the chicken throbbing? Uh. As you do. I mean, maybe chickens just throb. Okay. Let me see. So we've already leveled up again, so we can do something with that. Oh, oh no! What did I kill? Something died back there. I murdered a creature. I don't know. All I know is that something died. Alright, let's buy some more land. Do we want to go down? Let's go down. Hello. Okay, there's something down here. I guess let's go check it out. Chicken could be called Nugget. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? I like it. We'll call the Chicken Nugget. Alright, so what is... what is this? Looks like some kind of mining guild. Or an actual mine? I don't really know. I guess after a certain point I'm gonna have to just give up on actually gathering resources. Okay, so what is this thing? Welcome to the museum. Our collections are rather incomplete at the moment. Feel free to help me fill the bundles. You'll get a reward for each one completed. And a super special reward if you complete them all. Okay, so they just... They just want... All of our stone. Oh, I can move all. Okay. Some of these are going to be a little easier than others. Uh, let's drop off the beet. I'll drop off the cotton for now. I'm sure we'll need more. Let's see. We've got some flowers to drop off. We've got some berries to drop off. Apricots. I'm just going to drop off things. Trapping. Oh, we can chuck things in bottles. Good to know. Drop off some bricks. Cool. Oh. 
Is that? Nope. Never mind. Yeah, some of these are gonna suck. I don't think they're gonna suck as much as you think. Ow! Alright, so Farty the Cow needs to, uh, needs to learn his lesson here. Which is specifically, you don't mess with whatever the heck I am. I actually don't know what I am. Apart from dying. I know that part. That part's a bit obvious. Okay. So we want to go back to making... Let's just make a shit ton of iron. Can't make any steel, because steels apparently involves gold now. Hey, Ferris heal you to full. Alright, that's encouraging. So we have at least one means of healing ourselves. Even if it's, uh... A bit inconsistent on when and where it spawns. Okay. And yeah, I guess we've got to just uh, harvest infinite gold here. It'd be nice if eventually I could start skipping these. But then again, I guess... Getting certain talents. Oh! So we need bones, iron ingots, and brick to upgrade my... Uh, my pickaxe further. Well, that's That's good to know. Uh, hmm. I guess let's keep spending these skill points. That's that's how we progress anyway. Masonry unlocks braziers, leather sewing stations work faster. Let's go sewing. We might be able to make some uh equipment with leather. Yeah, boots and gloves. I think you're a forager. Har har. Okay, let's keep grabbing these. So what can we what can we build? Industrial sewing station. I need bricks. Which I think are actually made here. So we should probably make another another furnace. Industrial furnace. Okay, make as many bricks as you can grab. We're gonna have to think about Get some um some steel going? I'm I'm not entirely sure what we need the steel for. And we'll definitely want to work on our coal production. Yeah, hopefully we can eventually just take out some of these resources in one swing. Speed up the process a little bit. Oh, coal. Ah! An overabundance of slimes. So I should probably actually figure out if I can make anything with those. I think there's like alchemy benches and stuff you can mess with. So I should probably potentially uh might eat these. Oh, you can also sell uh many of these resources. That's good to that's good to know. 